Hey guys, this is another tutorial, and this one we are going to be uh, setting up a NPC following system. And uh, let me go ahead and show you what that does exactly and what I'm talking about. It's basically if you're near enough to, uh, let's say, an NPC, you want them to, to follow you around. You can see the little NPC up here turning towards us. If you get close enough and you hit Q, it'll start following us at a a certain speed now it it does need to be adjusted a little bit um, of course you know it isn't perfect uh, but the adjustments are going to be essential um, essentially different just because uh, every person makes their sprites and their game different so but it's uh there we go let's go ahead and get this started real quick um, first thing you're going to want is of course your NPC if you already have it drawn out um, that's fine I just went ahead and duplicated a, a different project that I had open um, made a little wall sprite I make uh, I tend to make my sprites 32 by 32 so the little wall sprites 32 by 32 it's just a little black block uh, down here of course you're going to want to build your follower or NPC whatever it's going to be uh, attach your NPC sprite to them and go ahead and build or uh, create a folder for your walls and in this folder you're going to create an object called uh, a void set it to solid and it doesn't have to have any any sprite or anything um, I guess visible doesn't really matter then go ahead and create your wall attach the the wall sprite to it make sure it's a solid that it's visible and be sure to parent it to the object avoid the one we created beforehand all right now let's go ahead and go back to our NPC slash follower. In the create event, we're going to set up a variable. We're going to call it following. We're going to set it to false. And basically what this is, is if the NPC is following or not. Very simple. And go into the step. Now, for some of you wondering how I got the NPC to kind of look towards uh, the player, it'll be this code up here. It'll be image angle, which will set the sprite that you have attached to your NPC. It'll angle it towards point direction. The first X is going to be the sprite that you're using. So the sprites X and Y should reflect looking towards object players X and object players Y and that again will just point and PC towards player alright next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna check to and th this is actually, uh, I guess, if you want to stop them from following you, if you want to, you know, get them behind a wall and then run out and kill an enemy or whatever else, this is what the check's going to do. If uh, following is false, and you press the Q key, while the player distance is less than or equal to 15, then it'll turn following from false to true. Else if following is true you press the Q key and of course the distance to the player is less than 15 it'll change following from true to false so that just you know sets following to true or false it's just a check this one here checks the variable following checks to see if it's true if it is, then follow the player. So this is a very simple check. We check if following, if our variable following is true. Then we're going to do MP 
potential step object and it's going to step towards object players x plus 10 object players y plus 10 at a speed of 3 and it's going to avoid any object that is parented to our object avoid so it'll essentially try and keep it away from the walls and keep it on a more clear path to where it follows the player let's go ahead and redo this real quick but yeah if you follow all this you will end up with the result again the little NPC looking towards your player once we get close enough hit Q I didn't hit Q, I hit a different button. Hit Q. <laughs> He'll follow your player. Essentially keeping him away from the walls. Then you can hit Q again and leave him behind. So you, you can always run down here and, you know, kill an enemy before. You can move down into a further area in the level. Then come back, pick him up again. And away you go. That's really about it, guys. Uh, really simple. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. Uh, be sure to check out some of the other videos that I've been posting. And uh, enjoy!